Hello, this is Karelian, and this is my Total War Rome uh, 2. Uh, we're going to be playing as Rome uh, in my first campaign here, and we'll be playing the House of Junia. I think a lot of people play the House of Julia, get the whole Caesar vibe going on. We're going to go with Junia instead. Uh, give some public order bonuses due to Latin culture, which can be very useful um, so that you can leave some of your lands behind and move on. And we're going to work on agrarian wealth. So we're going to get a bunch of wealth for having food, which will lead to growth, which will lead to more wealth, etc. Now, we're going to be playing on very hard difficulty, and we will be working to quickly take over as much as possible. Our other primary goal will be to increase tech as quickly as possible. So we're going to be focusing in on libraries and um, I think it's Minerva, which leads to more uh, quick religious uh, buildings that raise our um, tech levels. Um, so go ahead and let's go ahead and get started. Now, Rome starts off at war with people, the Etruscans, which is an important thing because you really do have to take them out early. Uh, not that they're a long-term threat, but they're, they're controlling half of your most important province, which is the one that has Rome in it. You need all the regions in that province so that you can fully, or all the provinces in the region, however you, whatever way it is, to make sure that you control your growth, to make sure that you control the happiness and the culture that's occurring within the area. Now, they start off with three cities that you'll need to take. Two on the continent itself and one off on an island. So we're going to actually need to take all three and it will benefit us to go after the island one first. So. I have started doing these videos because I'm interested in producing videos for the Total War Warhammer when it comes out. And so we're, we're going to be doing Rome to build up to that. Uh, currently I'm leading towards doing vampire counts when the new game comes out. If you have a suggestion for a different group that you would like to see because you think we're going to be seeing too many... March north and capture their territories. This will allow you to consolidate Italia and ensure the safety of Rome. You must wage war if you hope to extend your dominion. Syracuse and Carthage own territory in Magna Graecia, so conflict with them is inevitable if you wish to expand across the Mediterranean. Otherwise, they may prove useful allies against Etruria or the Gaulish tribes to the north. Come what may, Rome will triumph. Okay. Um, as I was saying, I was thinking of doing the vampire counts. They are infantry faction for the most part, um, with very little ranged. And so R Rome is much the same way. You can have cavalry, but you're really going to be built upon in Rome your heavy infantry um, that just takes and crushes the people in front of it. Uh, that will be the focus of the of it all. Now, where is he going to take this army to go after Alalia? Uh, what I've ran into in the past is if we if we go straight here, we can crush them with this army, but then you run into uh, serious issues with with uh, them building on Alalia and difficulty getting there. Now Alalia shares um, this train with Corallus, so we are going to have some cultural issues and whatnot to build up on. Now you are going to upgrade your unit so that you're better prepared afterwards. Um, our other army is way in the south. They're going to be moving north and they're going to be building up troops as they go as well. The most important beginning thing is to just control the entire entirety of Italy itself and to crush the Etruscans as soon as possible. Because if we just leave them on the island, they're not going to make peace with us. The island's not very useful, but they'll just keep launching strikes against us, and so uh, and, uh, they're too close to Rome for us to, for us to allow that to occur. So we're going to bring this army up, we're going to crush them up here in Vela 3, and be ready to go. For kicks, let's take our, our spy up just to keep an eye on them. Um, here we're going to build a farm. 
if we look we have one food at the moment that's not going to be enough uh, we're going to go to the shrines of Minerva she will become the new patron of Rome at least until we max out all of our tech at which point you know may not be such an important thing start off with our military build because I don't think this provides much yeah it's not going to provide much use at the moment so we'll start with our military build let's look at this because trade is huge so if we can get a couple of countries to trade with us early Welcome. it can I make a massive difference uh, what if we offer you hearts. some money I think trade anyone trade not. with us Massalia come on Massalia we won't kill you if you trade with us What if we Do give you a little bit of money? Oh, we don't have enough money. Okay, so we can, if we get some trade things, which we should have by the time we finish conquering here, um, we'll find that we quickly, quickly start being able to benefit. Now, this region is going to give us problems, so we're going to actually have to build our, our temple next round uh, to quickly build up. First of all, um, the whole Latin culture and some some right. In fact, can I get another army here already? I can. It's not the best army, but that'll help hold this region for a while, which is what I need. Now this army, we'll have one more round of of recruiting as we go up, and then we will be into war. I could raid with you. If I raid with you. Raid routes and coastal summons for income engaged in local piracy to supplement supplies. So it doesn't look like it would actually. doesn't look like it would actually give me any money, it would just do that. We'll still bring him over here and just hang out in this in the ocean over here. That will be a big help when we when we have to go and take them out in a bit. Okay, we're gonna go in turn. The first several turns are gonna be fast. We're gonna go fast and furious to take out these troops. Now the real strength would be when we get legionnaires and some of the higher level infantry that really let us just hold the wall and and do hammer anvil tactics against our foes. Uh, he's going to be bringing up some troops. I don't care about that. Okay, you. And you're going to double time because. My navy's gonna come over here and watch him to make sure that he doesn't get just wrecked by anything. Losing that army would be very problematic at this point in the campaign. We really need them to be able to take that. Um, we're still making quite a bit. I am gonna recruit some more Hastati. Uh, it's making it somewhat difficult we're going to be building our consecrated grounds. Uh, it is currently autumn I think, yeah, so autumn gives big bonuses to public order which is good. Some morale, a bunch of wealth from agriculture, some good stuff. Okay, next turn. Okay, we're going to come down and give military intelligence. This would give him a big boost to cunning which has some good abilities in it and at the same time it will start giving a lot of experience to my to my army or to my spy so that we will get good bonuses um, anyone like us more or less uh, can we trade with you what if I pay you money It 
this is so sad. Like, no one ever wants to do anything. What about a non aggression? Can we get some. What about. If we give you all of our money and a trade agreement. I love that it's only moderate chance of them actually even taking the money I offer them. That is ridiculous. Uh, you guys are 180 to keep. I really don't think that you guys are worth 180. So we're actually going to just disband those units because it would help an auto resolve, but we won't really need auto resolve to take out that city. Uh, so we're going to go in turn. I may build by him some cavalry if I can from the. Uh, from the mercenary pull. It's because cavalry is really good. We really wanted to shoot through these early turns. Once we contain Italy control all of Italy we can afford to to have a slightly better um We're gonna be going this way because I want to get to these uh at least this one real fast and then we'll do some civic ones. What this does is it gives me uh, better troops through the auxiliary barracks if I want to go that route and it will give me um, minus two percent upkeep. Upkeep is huge in this game you end up paying so much to upkeep your your uh, troops. My navy is going to come over here just to keep an eye on him because again we don't want to lose a primary force at this point in the campaign. Okay, We're just going to move him to here and we're going to see what we have to see. Now they're going to have the left three if we look uh, we can't see. I'm betting they have at least six units. Something looks very much like that. So we have to be aware of that and going in and ready to, to react accordingly. Um, it's plus two public order. We're going to increase that next turn. So I want something that generates cash, preferably in the short term. We're going to go ahead and build. Don't want to build that. Gives me 40 more olive oil, which I believe is a tradable resource. Let me look. Yeah, it's a tradable resource. So it would give me more tradable resource, which could help if anyone would ever trade with me. Give me a little bit of food. Give me some growth. A little bit of public order would increase wealth. Or I could build this which would give me public order and research rate. But well, we're going to focus on that so I'm going to go with that for the moment. Um, you cannot reach Velathri. We're going to leave you in there because you should be exper getting experience. Oh. Actually I'm going to bounce you out. Okay. Looking at Velathri, how much do we have to deal with here? We have six units. This army has ten units, so that would be sixteen. That's a bit of a problem. So we do need to recruit more. What can I recruit? really don't like them. What do we have in the way of marks? We have two cavalry units. I 
uh, we are running thin here but taking these out will be too important to, to hold back we're gonna go ahead and get rid of you that'll add a little bit more money um, Looking at these guys, they have a 5865. I have 4860. And 1825. So I'm much better offensively in my study. I'm much better offensively. They're much better in defense. And they're slightly better in defense. So overall I think that we'll win there. Some of the units in Velathwi are going to be like mobs, two mobs. The two slingers could hurt. The one cavalry unit is not such a big deal because uh, I have two cavalry units. So we're going to go ahead and intern. Once I get the <laughs> the mainland held it will give me a chance actually once I have a chance that you can hold all of my provinces I'll be able to have a better time of getting the economy going I just can't let the Etruscans build up in the meantime okay well my person did in fact level up and that is an important one because that gives us the ability to get plus six movement which is really nice okay now Is this worth fighting? Um, we might as well fight some city fights. We'll. Do I really want to fight this one? We're going to fight this one because I may auto resolve the next one. And this way, at least, I have one battle scene that you see on it. Now, this will be a good test to see how the study hold up, get some tactics going. You, it works well if you can pincer, so you bring Hastadi in from two sides of the city and just clamp them in the middle. You don't want to just go on in one place and end up with just one big mass melee. You have trouble flanking at that point um, because these city, cities really prevent flanks from coming, unless you begin by moving to different areas. Now these dudes, I don't care about at all. Uh, we're gonna wait because rain is not fun. Ah, they're gonna start a deployment. Okay. Where is my help coming from? My help is gonna come from back around here apparently. And so we're all going to come in right here. We're gonna start our battle. So we're gonna bring up our army into this area once I have my my other units arrive. Now they had a navy. Oh, they're over there. I'm gonna send you guys to go kill their navy. This is my general that's leading the attack, so I don't want him to. Don't want any issues to come up with him. Okay, these units. See how many we can have going. You guys are gonna come over here. That'll be our pincher move. I'm gonna speed this up because naval things are so slow. Now you, I don't really need to send you anywhere. You actually have some minor ability. Do you believe the battle is turning in our favor? That's fine. Come over here. Come over there. 
Now my Hastati are going to be much better, but I want to make sure that we don't just get overwhelmed. Do we see anyone here? Okay, now you guys can dock. Then we'll have five Hastati here. You two, come here. Okay, you guys, form up right here. We're going to bring these guys to short here. I don't really care about my admiral. My this is the one guy that matters in the whole army. You should be over here. We can see that they're all lining up in the middle, which is fine. I'm going to bring you guys around to here. Yeah, why not? I'll bring my general in. Which means that these units, I'm going to bring you around to here. You can walk, there's no real hurry. Okay. You guys are with him. So. What is a good way to come? We're going to move you to here. Turn around to here. And you two move to here. You guys can walk. You can walk too. So as you can see, we're gonna be able to pincer them. Oh, actually, never mind. You guys should be coming here. So you two. And then you two here. Uh, go ahead and go fire at them because I don't care. And then you can hang out behind here. I'm your general. We'll hang out here. Okay, now for all of you guys. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You guys can walk. There's no reason for anyone to run. How are they holding up? Apparently, I cannot war cry. Our general is under attack. How are you under attack? You don't seem to be under attack. You two, 
I'm gonna bring you around here to join these guys. You can come forward. We're gonna go ahead and play this at normal speeds. This Estadi unit got really messed up. What happened? One of our units is Arrows, maybe? Okay, we're gonna end the battle. We had one Estadi unit that got really messed up, and I don't know how that happened. Uh, we lost 465, which is a decisive victory. Not great. We are playing this on very hard, and it seems like the armor does not hold up as well on very hard as it would playing at some of the other difficulties. So, a decisive victory. We have taken out the first of three stops on removing the um, the uh, Etruscans from the game. Now, at this point, we need to focus on holding a getting Alita, the, this island city, to be able to be held without us sitting here. And that can be difficult. Your orders. The ship. I'm gonna occupy. Now, I'm going to refresh. Some of these people got really badly injured, but it's going to take a while for us to be able to fully hold this town, so that's fine. Uh, looking at it, we see that we're getting close to being able to pay for that, and our, our budget will be getting better. Now, let's take a moment and see how this is going to go. Now those guys were more defensive than us. And we're supposed to just win this. This is probably their biggest force and I'm just gonna choose to auto resolve. Wow. How many people do you have? 14. So. Let's just add numbers to our army. None will escape. Then we're gonna go ahead and take the close victory. That was most of what the Etruscans had. The loss of this they'll have trouble maintaining. Let's look at what we did. Um, wow, I would have really preferred that these dudes took the brunt, not these dudes, but that's fine. What is the upkeep? That'd be another 300 gold to make next turn. We're definitely going to get rid of this unit. He's too injured to make it worthwhile. And we're going to get rid of both of these. That'll make us 600 more, and we shouldn't need them to take Aruminium. Some of these units are pretty depleted though. Um, I always see Rome as uh, authority. But you already have authority. Yeah, we'll still go authority. We'll bump his authority up to 7 by rank, his next rank, and then we'll work on getting some zeal going. Minus 5 morale for enemy units, plus 5 defense skill for his units, that's not bad. Plus five for all units is pretty good. No one for him to marry. Looking at you, 
You're plus two zeal, minus five being detected. Okay. And you're well on your way to rank three. So I'm gonna make the radical assumption that I probably oh That's bad. I didn't realize they had that. Well, hopefully nothing comes on with that. And next turn I will build a farm here. We already have that. Okay, we're going to go to intern. Uh, not you. Over here, maybe. Nope, it's my navy. So they led the charge. So you're going to get plus two, and you get plus one authority. You apparently already have zeal. And we're going to go ahead and turn. Now, this is points where that, I'll try to fight battles if it looks like it'll be fun, or, but there are points where it's just going to do better than me to do auto resolve. And especially early in the game, where we can be stimmied so easily, I'm gonna probably auto resolve more. So we get later in the game. Oh my goodness, I knew that was gonna happen. As so we get later in the game, we will have a uh, have more time to do it. Fix that. That sucks. Um, over here, we're going to give you some cheap units in the hopes that adding military presence will make that more effective we need money so we're going to start working on our monetary things um, Let's just pop you out a little bit and see what we can find. They have they don't even appear to be regaining. Our our minium should have the same six th units everyone gets. We have spearmen, one unit of cav, two mobs that are useless, same old, same old. Uh ooh, we're low on food. must be this minus six food the slums are so costly that probably hurt how about that to be frank hurts us more than anything else we had while fighting them here we're getting some bonuses which is good we'll have to leave that army there for a bit okay we're gonna go to intern now once we hold all of Italy I'll have some of some choices that will need to be made. Going north and taking the three regions at the north of Italy can be really good because it's a good place to hold the line and protect Roma. Yeah. Oh look. Don't be don't be annoying. We hunger for battle. Let them tower before that path is blocked. Their army left. Um, we're going to auto resolve this because some of our units are pretty beat up. Now his army fled. There they are. This makes me have to look at how many mercenaries are. How many mercenaries are there in the area? See, I'm really tempted to try to buy through these just to prevent him from buying them. Because him buying them is problematic. I also have to bring this force up to prevent him from trying to assault Neopolis. Even if he doesn't actually do much, just the act of assaulting Neopolis can be very problematic. So, uh, 
Uh, you have four units. He would have four, but two of them would be cavalry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, you're gonna buy one of these and one of these. I'm gonna hire them. And then, we're just gonna disband that. And the whole goal of that was just to give, uh, make it so this dude can't get so many troops the next turn. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and end the turn. This must be you. Um, you guys have melee bonuses. He is a general. And um, cunning, cunning. She has a lot of zeal for a spy. It's very strange. Okay, and that brings my general up to 773. He's a pretty good general already. Uh, we'll start buffing his his uh, zeal next. Okay, we're gonna go to intern. Oh yeah. Now all the time there's food in public order, but food is fine. We're gonna get more food soon, anyways. Uh, wealth from commerce, we don't have any. So we're gonna go with tax rate, just money. Now Ariminium could get bigger. But we don't have enough money to build anything, so we would just be hit by more slums, and so we don't want to do that. Okay, we're going to go to intern. So, my prediction oh, is he really chosen to come in? Yeah, he amazingly left, did buy that unit. Due to the beat up nature, let's just see if we can. We're going to go ahead and go with 92% and just finish them off. If they weren't so beat up, I would have, you know, fought it out just for funds. But we have several regions, several of them got experience. Uh, the, they got wrecked, but that's fine, I don't really care. Uh, we're going to kill everyone. As a general rule throughout this campaign, we will kill everyone. <laughs> it's just safer, gets rid of slaves can help I guess a little bit but for the most part they're not very good yep the Etruscans are gone we have land management okay you guys first of all we are disbanding them we're coming back to Brundisium let's see what we can do we cannot do that we do get a lot of money next turn is there anything we can build here we can go ahead and build. We get 30% from farms. So we're going to have at least one farm in every area that we turn into this for the extra money. Now, do I have any real reason to keep you two? Really, I should just get rid of all of you. Now oh, we'll keep you for now. Um, looking at the public order here, we see that we have plus 14 from presence. We need a church here to really offset it before I can bring my army down. And it's looking like it'll be another turn or so before I can build that church. Um, public order is going up in the Roman province. Um, down here, we're going to have problems. It would trouble populace. That's painful. We have a trait. Ooh. Do you have that trait already? That is the question.
is such a good wow that is such a good trait um, we'll just take you out of the city I guess Uh, whatever we need you there you're you're too important to the well-being of the of the area okay we're gonna go ahead and, and turn oh yeah that would be that would be a problem since part of the goal is to do as much as we can as fast as we can okay we're gonna be working on doing that to Looks like we can get up to minus 15 recruitment costs, which is huge in what we're going to be working on. Um, monetarily, we can't get anyone to trade with us currently, and so some of that stuff is just not very useful. Beniti. Why not? Will you trade with me? Cool, will you pay me money? to you. I trust you come with honorable work. I am honored to receive this embassy and will listen with interest to all Ooh, that's you good. To say. Having having Veniti as my only trade partner is not good. It'll change where I possibly go first, but it's not not ideal because they're high on the list of people I need to conquer. Um payment of service we are not your servants friend are we the salia doesn't the need to be high on the list of conquerors unless they take liguria if they take liguria the salia becomes an issue too because holding the cisalpines is really important to guarding italia which will be my obviously breadbasket um Delmate. We will gladly listen to your offers, but do not wrap them in lies. The spirits know truth. Come on, you can pay me a little bit. I accept it. Empress is unhappy. I trade with Syracuse. Carthage is mean. Can't trade with Sparta. Come on, Athens. I want to be a trade power. You should trade with me. Okay. So, we're going to spend some time fixing our nation. And that's an extra 400 a turn. And um, we'll be building, we'll be getting more trade stuff as we go. Unfortunately, these are all nations that I kind of want to fight early so that's a problem but for now I think the answer to that is to start traveling around looking for people to trade with cut out some expenses okay I need to focus on this terrain first so we're going to begin by giving them a temple of Minerva um, that will add plus three to the public order, two to the public order, give me some bonuses from culture, which is not huge, uh, Latin cultural influence, which is, will be big, and some research rate bonuses, which they're minor, but at least it's something. I almost certainly at some point I'm going to get a revolt down here if I don't get good growth going soon. Um, looking up to the north, can't build the herding grounds yet. That's where we'll see some wealth coming from. I'm gonna bring my army over here because Genoa. 
Oh wait, I trade with Liguria, don't I? That's a problem. Now oh, we'll go back into the last three and hang out. We still have a number of turns before this army's back and ready to go. Okay. Then in mind, there's no reason to pay your upkeep every turn. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of you. I need the money. And we're going to go ahead and end turn. How are we looking on time? We have a few more turns we can do. I really have to decide if I'm going to go for Syracuse and Carthage to fill up that realm. Or if I want to take Cisalpine. Alpines. The hungry dogs are all around. The wise man bars his doors and looks for shield brothers. What say you? I'm gonna turn you down. Glory! That's good. Now your journal has got a pet fawn. The creature is milk white and follows him around like a loyal dog. He claims it to get from Diana the Huntress. We'll honor the fawn, whatever. It's a gift from a god, who am I to, to slam it? Okay. We have a lot of room for growth. So we're going to focus on growth. You are expanding so slowly, I need... We need food, so we're going to go... Oh, wait, if I do that... If I go for the fishery, I'm at minus two public order. I really need to get that. I really need a food source. But if I turn that into food, it'll probably just upset people more. Let's look at what's making people unhappy. How bad is the lack of food? Cultural differences are huge, taxes and slaves. Well, hmm. So food isn't actually a, a huge factor. So it's better to not do that. Now, that requires more food. Well, that requires food. So we just can't touch that for the time being. Um, It really makes me think taking Syracuse and and lightly by them may be the way to go. Well, let's just work on improving Rome. We have lots of improvements we can do. Uh, this one increases my. That one is how much? 1600 you go right there I don't want that I want the other one so we'll hold off strangely I want that which kind of makes me think I should ditch a bunch of my units If I do, no, I shouldn't do it yet. If I do it, I'll turn to come up. How many mercenaries are we sitting on? Three. He has a full stack. It's just not worth not worth it. That is also not worth it. I want the money. So we're going to go to intern. Oh, that's what I need to do is hire my other naval unit so that I can go and meet the world. If I can get 10 to 12 
trade packs going with the nations I don't immediately have to go to war with, then it greatly changes how the game works. I suddenly have a much better time. So we're going to go with that. The general has been more pleased. Excellent. I can build a ship there, right? Forces, yes I can. We're gonna pick you. You look like a naval commander if ever there was one. This has a speed five ship and a speed four. We'll go with the speed five, strangely. You are no longer going that way. Come meet Iberia. We're going to learn we're gonna meet the world. Damn it, you've moved south. I think I need to throw some non aggression packs around if I can, so let's see. Uh, Liguria. Oh, you, you didn't agree to. Offers, but do not wrap them in lies. The spirits know truth. Okay, it looks like we're going to be fighting Liguria. So, Veniti. Well met, friend. Non aggression pack. You fled. Uh, would you go to do a defensive alliance? I cannot. Okay. So, back to hiring mercenaries. And then we're going to go ahead and hire out a study. We're actually going to. How far can you go? I don't know that you're going to attack me, but that looks like you're going to attack me. Roma, we can't build anything there. Uh, slowly but surely we're building up. That has a turn and then life will get a little bit better. Okay, you're good. You actually need to double time it. Uh, can you move it all this turn? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and end turn. I didn't want to build up that army, but now that really makes me think that if they attack me there, I'll be able to take them. If I have Liguria, it solves the problem of Massalia taking something that I want. Because I don't necessarily need to go for Massalia. It's, uh, Masala is only important if I expand westward first. If I go east first, Masalia serves no real purpose. Okay, let us see how this worked out. First of all, you are going to double time it. Did not bother to come in, which is good. So I'm gonna bring this army into here. What do you look like? You have I'm gonna build that. That. So we're actually not going to build either of the things I just said we're going to build because we really need the money over here to get that plus six research rate. Uh, we're going to lose food. Serious food issues. Can't do that because of the serious food issues. How many more turns?
We're just gonna have to face the revolt there when it appears. Um, work on upkeep costs as much as possible. I'm gonna get rid of you. I'm gonna hire two more Astati because Astati rock. Going for a bigger campaign movement. Um, how are you looking in the region? You're they're not all the way back, but they're well on the way back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn, and this will probably be the last turn. We'll see if we get attacked, and then I will end this video as soon as this turn comes back to me. We have uh, succeeded in getting rid of the Etruscans in this first video. We've started exploration for trade, and we actually have several trade partners. They weren't necessarily who I wanted to trade with immediately, but it did succeed in getting me some trade. Um, minus two public order. Who are you? Because that's terrible news. It's you. Oh, well, you're getting replaced because that's. That is a. We're going to replace you with. Uh, we we'll go with you. Now I like your helmet. We'll go with you. And we're going with this unit because. Not worth it. Okay. We're going to build that. So we can build here this turn. We have this massive army hanging out here. How close are we to getting growth here? Oh, dang it. We need, we have what we need. We can build the church here, which gives public order. Looking at our public order issues going on here. Um, we would definitely be losing order over the long run. Um, not by a lot. Basically we'd have six, seven, eight, nine, we have, we have seven uh, versus 15. So we'd be losing eight a turn. Okay, well, we may be having to do that anyways. It just may be what needs to occur. Anything I can build here? Nope, okay, we're going to end the video here. Uh, subscribe, favorite it, let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Uh, let me know if you prefer me to go east-west, although by the time this is posted, I will be several videos further along. But, there will be a lot of campaigns. So if you want to see me go after the east before the west, let me know. Um, or I can go down into Africa. Let me know what sounds good and we'll go from there. Uh, I don't necessarily think a lot of people are going to be watching these early videos so, so I'm just going to be popping them out to show that my interest in doing this and my desire to get out videos in a consistent and timely manner. Um, also, again I'm leaning towards Vampire Counts as the first faction in Total War Warhammer but if you have any particular preferences as to what other factions there are, let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye.